They are. Dave's not allowed on the sofa, and he thinks that I'm unaware of his sofa antics. Actually, I don't think he cares very much. Dave, are you on the sofa? Yeah, and? You lovely smile. <laughs> What are you doing? He doesn't care. Animals on sofas. I do love my sofa. It has to be said, but look at that face. How could you say no to it? You can't. So, is it really a bad thing to let him get on the sofa? He has got on it when he's been muddy. But it's quite a good sofa. It does wash wash down. I mean, it's about five years old now. So it's not done too bad, is it? Um, how could you be nasty to that little face? Poor Peggy, she's out in the other room. She don't come in here. I don't know why. She's just in a funny mood. Um, so no, I think that animals have got as much right as we have. But equally, they do need to be kept in their place. They do need to know who's the hierarchy because otherwise you could get real issues with them thinking that they're the boss. And then it leads you into a whole new world of what gives us the right to be their boss. Um, that's a tough one. But I can't be led, literally led, by a, an animal. They have to fit in with what I'm doing, same as the kids do. Um, I do my very, very, very best for them. Uh, so I don't think it's a bad thing that they do fit in with me. So, no, that's fine. And as long as you try your best for them, then that's good. Um, I would say there was a notice on eBay, uh, not eBay, on Facebook a while ago saying if you haven't got enough money for animals, then you shouldn't have animals. To a degree, I agree, but it's so difficult because animals are such a good incentive for so many people that if you haven't got enough money, you can usually get round it if you haven't got enough money to get them you know, medical treatment and what have you. Um, you know, you've got the PDSA and people that will be willing to help people now if they're genuine. And if you like animals, obviously I'm not talking about hoarding them and things like that. I mean, I've got four. That's not, I don't think that's a lot. Um, I've got two big dogs and two cats. Um, I did want a hedgehog. I've looked after hedgehogs many, many times. Um, wild ones. So I know what goes into it, but I'm thinking that's a bit too much, too much effort. And I can't be 100% sure that I'm going to be okay to do it properly. So, no, I'm not going to get one. And then I wanted another dog, and I thought that's stupid, because I haven't got enough money to pay to walk it, because I'm having to pay to walk mine at the moment, until I can try and get something done with my head. Um... It's very difficult. I would say if you can look after the animal as best as you can and obviously it's getting everything that it needs to get to be happy and healthy, then I would say do it. Because they give you so much joy and I would be lost without my animals and I've been without animals before and I've been incredibly ill because of it because they do help so much look at that little face they do help so much and that's just one and it's just too adorable so I think if you can help um, I mean I did go to I was with the RSPCA for ages while I actually couldn't look after them here and I was working up there helping them. 
Um, but then it turned out that I couldn't carry on because I was too ill. So I had to stop and that's when I got the cats. And then I wouldn't be without them now. Um, people who can just give up animals because they're going to work or going to um, move house or what have you, that's just odd. I'd rather be on the streets with the animal than give them up. Couldn't give them up, full stop. Um, they're part of the family, they are family. That's it, full stop. Um, so that's my view on animals. They're far too needed to be a proper human being. That is it exactly. You can't be a nice human being unless you like animals. That's just it. I seriously believe that. If you don't like animals, then there's something the matter with you. You're not quite all there. You're not very nice. I wouldn't like you very much if you don't like animals. Sorry. That's just how it is. Um, there we go. That's what my thought on the matter is. Over and out.